Hello and welcome to VR Reviews. Today we'll be reviewing the NECA Heroes of the Storm artists, the Lich King. So yes, here we have the Lich King, another Warcraft figure from this line, and he is pretty cool. Um, honestly, in a way, I kind of like him more than Illidan, even though Illidan is my preferred character. He's just a nice, bulky, armored behemoth of a figure, and certainly something worth picking up if you are a fan of Warcraft or Heroes or just Lich King-esque things. Now let's go ahead and zoom in for the articulation, sculpt, main details, all those sorts of things. Alright, starting off with a quick size comparison, of course here we have the Lich King, here's our standard Marvel Legends 6 inch Cosmic Armor Iron Man and 3 and 3 quarter inch Marvel Universe Wolverine. Arthas is actually pretty close to 6 inch scale, especially considering how he's a bulky and kind of tall character, so I think he actually works perfectly fine for that. And of course, much bigger than any 3 and 3 quarter inch figure. Now let's get everything else out of here and just look at Arthas. Alright, moving on to our 360 spin. In terms of detail, Arthas is just absolutely brilliant. His armor is all sculpted really nicely in a sort of base gray. And then the, all the accenting is gold. He's got lots of spikes and skulls and things sculpted everywhere, as well as uh, fur detailing. And all of it just looks pretty much perfect. Uh, just spot-on Death Knight-style armor. And then he has a cloth cape. Uh, it's a decent thick cloth, so it's not going to look really sheer or anything, and it's got some fraying to it. And then his uh, crotch piece has the little loincloth piece of cloth. I don't think that part needed to be cloth, um, and it hangs a bit weird, but I like the cape. The cape looked pretty nice. All in all, the detail's just really good. I could not be happier with it, honestly. Now let's go ahead and zoom in on his head sculpt. Head sculpt-wise, Arthas's head is kind of done a bit differently than I might would have expected, because um, it seems like they do actually have kind of a base head underneath the helmet, which makes his uh, head look a bit bulkier than I think it necessarily needs to, along with the fact that I'm more used to seeing um, uh, the Lich King's actual face in shadow and not being able to see it through the helmet like that, but that is how it looks in Heroes, so that's fine, I guess. Um... But the helmet looks fine, it's pretty much accurate, it's got all the spires and the skulls and stuff sculpted into it, and he has his uh, tufts of uh, light blue hair poking out the side, and the facial sculpt that you can see underneath the helmet is pretty good as well. So there's nothing really to complain about other than the slight, overly bulkiness look. It, it just It's just something you get whenever you put helmets on top of previously sculpted heads, because they're solid and they don't form to... To the features quite as well but um i think it still looks perfectly fine and it's not a major complaint now let's go ahead and zoom out and look at some articulation articulation wise arthas is pretty decent considering the amount of bulk he has you get a ball joint in the head that goes forward and back side to side pivots ball joint shoulders go in and out forward and back ball joint elbows rotate hinge he's got little ball pegs in the wrists so those move around a bit he's got a pretty good diaphragm joint moves all around Waist cut, hips go in and out, forward and back, rotate around on the joint, ball joints in the knees, those go forward and back, rotate, and ball pegs in the ankles, so you can get full pivoting there for the most part. So you can get him into pretty decent poses, and his shoulder pads are flexible enough that they're not going to get in the way of any arm movements. I've not been able to get him into quite all the poses I want to. I think I wish his wrists were a little bit better for uh, sword wielding and stuff like that. But for the most part, he's actually pretty good, at, uh, like I said, especially considering just how um, bulky and armored he is. He moves reasonably well. Now let's go ahead and move on to his accessories. Accessories-wise, of course, Arthas comes with Frostmourne, as you quite literally cannot have the Lich King without Frostmourne. And this is also where my only big complaint for the figure comes in, is that Frostmourne's not really... It's not accurate to the source material that this figure is from, or from any other source material. Um, the handle and everything is fine, the, the skull and on the cross guard and everything is cool, but for some reason the center of the blade is gold, and I don't know why. It's not like that in the Heroes model, and it's certainly not like that um, in any of the Warcraft stuff. It should uh, have runes in it and not be gold. Um, or if you're going by the Heroes one, it should just not be gold, and they didn't put the runes on there. But, um... Either way, it's very strange. It doesn't look bad, I just don't understand why they did that. So that's that's my big complaint for the figure, is that Frostmourne does not look quite right. Frostmourne's very important, it needs to look right. It's Frostmourne. It's cool. Anyway, 
Uh, other than that, the sword comes apart at the top, so you can um, stick it in his hand and then put it back together. And uh, other than that, it's perfectly acceptable. Um, you can hit things with it or whatever. So let's go ahead and move on to the packaging. Packaging. Wise Arthas comes in your standard NECA style packaging. Here's the storm up there at the top. Window, the Lich King Arthas, and a picture of the Lich King down there at the bottom. On the back, you get a picture of the Lich King and a description, as well as the other figures that are available. Tyrael, Stitches, Nova, and Illidan. I've already reviewed Illidan, and I don't want the characters that are not from Warcraft, so unless I decide to pick up Stitches, I will not review any of those. As always, these are good for in or out of package display. So yeah, Arthas. All right, the wraps up for Arthas. So until next time, goodbye. Thanks for watching one of my videos. If you enjoyed it, feel free to like the video or subscribe if you would like to see my future content. If not, run away, run away, and never return. Also, feel free to support me on Patreon at Patreon.com/vrreviews. Follow me on Twitter at VenomRaptor09. Or follow me on Instagram at Instagram.com slash VR Reviews. Thank you and goodbye.